Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x squared minus y squared, this is equal to 36. Given that x and y, these are members of natural numbers, such that x is not equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0. So, what are the values of x and y? So, let's prevent the solution from here. So we have x squared minus y squared, this is equal to 36. We find that this equation is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two perfect squares, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. Applying this property, then here we have x plus y, multiplying by x minus y, this is equal to 36. From here, we have that x plus y, this is greater than x minus y. Now, this implies that from this part here, let's determine the prime factors of 36. So we have 36, times 1, this is the same thing as 36, 1 times 36, then we have 9 times 4, we have also 4 times 9, then we have 12 times 3, we have 3 times 12, then we have 18 times 2, then we have 2 times 18. Now, we have the condition that x plus y should be greater than x minus y. From the first part here, we have that 36 is greater than 1, so this satisfies the condition. 1 times 36, this does not. 9 is greater than 4, so this satisfies. So 4, this actually does not. 12 is greater than 3, so this satisfies. 3 is less than 12, so this does not. 18 is greater than 2, so this satisfies. But 2 is less than 18, so this does not. So we have 4 cases here. We have 4 cases here. We have 36 times 1. We have 9 times 4. We have 12 times 3 we have 18 times 2. So this is the first case. This is the second case. This is the third case. And this is the fourth case. So let's start with the first case here. So we have x plus y. x minus y. This is equal to 36 times 1. So Let's form a system of real equations here. x plus y, this is equal to 36. Then x minus y, this is equal to 1. Now let's add these two systems of real equations from here. x plus x, this is 2x. y plus minus y, this simplifies, so this is 0. This is equal to 36 plus 1. This is equal to 37. So to solve for x here, we have 2x is equal to 37. If we divide by 2 here, we have that x is equal to 37 over 2. So from here, we note that this is not a natural number. This is not a natural number. x equal to 37 over 2, this is not a natural number. So case 1 is basically rejected. Case 1 is rejected. Let's proceed to case 2 from here. In case 2, we have x plus y times x minus y. This is 9 times 4. So this implies that x plus y, this is equal to 9. x minus y, this is equal to 4. So we form a system of two ring equations here. So that x plus x, this is 2x. Then we have y 
plus minus y, this is equal to 0. And this is equal to 9 plus 4, this is equal to 13. So we have that 2x is equal to 13. So you divide by 2 here. This implies that x from here, this is equal to 13 over 2. And this is not a natural number. This is not a natural number. And this implies that from here, case 2 is rejected. Case 2 is rejected. Let's proceed to case 3. Let's proceed to case 3. In case 3, we have that x plus y, x minus y, this is x minus y, this is equal to 12 times 3. So we can form a system of three equations here. We have x plus y, this is equal to 12. And we have that x minus y, this is equal to 3. So let's sum up these two system of free equations x plus y again here this is 2x y plus minus y this is 0 and then 12 plus 3 this is equal to 15 so again we have 2x is equal to 15 so in, if you define by 2 from here you find that x is equal to 15 over 2 so again this is not a natural number so from here this implies that case 3 is rejected so let's proceed to case 4 from here case 4 we have x plus y this is x plus y times x minus y this is equal to 18 multiplied by 2 so we have x plus y, this is equal to 18. And we have that x minus y, this is equal to 2. So this again, these are two systems of free equations. Let's sum them. x plus y, x plus x, this is 2x. y plus minus y, this is equal to 0. 18 plus 2, this is equal to 20. So from here, we have that 2x is equal to 20 so let's divide both sides by 2 from here so that now x is equal to 10 we have that x is equal to 10 so let's solve for the corresponding value of y from here we have x plus y this is equal to 18 so we can solve for y we have 10 plus y this is equal to 18 so this implies that y is equal to 18 minus 10 we have that y is equal to 8 that is 8 now we have that the solution here the solution is x comma y this is equal to 10 comma 8 so this is the solution here let's verify that this solution here satisfies the equation Now let's verify that x comma y, which is 10 and 8, satisfies the equation. Now if you recall, we have that x squared minus y squared. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. So x is 10, so we have 10 to power 2 minus y, which is 8 to power 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. 10 to power 2, this is 100. Minus 8 to power 2, or 8 squared, this is 64. This should give us a value of 36. 100 minus 64, this is equal to 36. And this is equal to 36. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that this solution here that is x comma y which is 10 and 8 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video
and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video